I was just watching One Piece and, as usual, I've been using my tracker for the shows that I watch. And matter of fact, I made a whole playlist on how I made it. But long story short, I pull up my runner, type in something like episode to set the episode that I just watched, then the name of the show, and then uh, the episode. I think it's even more than that. Well, yeah, you can see 744. Please don't spoil. So it's all fine and good. However, I also push this whole thing into a repo that I have on GitHub. By the way, it's public if you're interested in what I'm watching for some reason, as well as the music that I'll listen to. So with music that I listen to, by the way, this is a file with people I'm interested in listening to. Same idea. I also have some automatic things that work with this data. And both of those, I actually commit and push to repos. And even if I have something as, as automatic as this whole thing, I still have to manually come in and commit and push. And I would rather that be automatic. At the very least, the commits. So I can just do the action that I usually do and the commit is taken care of. And to add to that, I have nice green dopamine, dopamine box, boxes on GitHub. Brilliant, right? So I needed to have a way to execute git commands through AHK. And that is exactly what I'm going to be showing off to you today. Let's go to cmd, which is in lib-v2 utils cmd.ahk. Uh, I leave a link to my GitHub profile in the description, as always. So all the code that I show off that I actually use is in lib-v2. So how do we use that? Uh, first of all, CMD is a class with a constructor. Here you provide, if you want to, a working directory. If you don't provide anything here, it's fine. It will just take the default a working there. So the second one, and you can or could if I actually included this. So utils CMD. Um, yeah, as you can see, by default, it's a working there, but you can also specify your own. So for something like music, I would be like paths music. Uh, and then I can execute my commands by using execute. And now I can just specify the commands as they as I want them to. So, for example, let's do get status. And if I want another command, I can do this. CD, by, by the way, in CMD, just shows you the current working directory, turns out. Kind of stupid, but sure. So here we just specify two different commands. And uh, once we run this, they will get executed. But we won't see anything. So what if we use info, s, to actually show that. So infos of execute, but execute doesn't automatically return the std out of those commands, but you can actually get it. So std out. This is a property that you can use to actually get what those commands output it, which is brilliant. So now actually let's test this out. You know what, let's, first of all, all right, so as you can see, here we have the std out of get status, and then immediately this std out of cd. So it's in one whole thing. Okay, but what do we do if we don't actually need the std out of the first command, for example? Well, we can actually just execute it, um, but not get its std out and separate these two commands. How do we do that? Well, first of all, let's remove this uh, until the dot and uh, cmd 
great. Now we get the CMD object as usual, then CMD and grab CD and execute that separately. So, no, actually not that, that's a completely different thing. And now we actually do get the std out of cd, but don't of get status and show this one. Interesting because that is not supposed to happen. But essentially, we execute this command, but ignore what it actually gives us. But we not only execute cd, but we also get what it returned to us. So cmd, the class that I wrote, allows us to have both options. Execute doesn't automatically return uh, the output because it would otherwise need to do both things at once, execute and return output. I wanted to separate them, which is why you have to use the property if you actually do need it. And by separating the commands like this, you can pick and choose what you actually need and then show it however. However, I don't understand, huh, this time it didn't lag out. You know, like, it's exactly when you're recording a video that shit breaks. <laughs> like, that never happened to me before, which is pretty strange. Okay, well, first of all, I have to mention that this is not mine idea. Uh, it was recommended to me by Depth Trawler from the AutoHotkey Discord. So all the inner workings, he probably knows better than me. I just know how to write good code and I'm very bad at DLL calls and com objects, so I'm not gonna explain them. But essentially what we need to do is uh, run cmd the exe, hide it immediately, then attach a console to that cmd, or rather no, we create the com object of the shell and then attach that console that we created onto that shell so we can use it, meaning there's no annoying cmd window popping up and by using the com object we can actually get the output. So it's kind of like we have the best of both worlds. Um, that's pretty much how it works and we need to remember to free the console, but that is automatically done when the class is garbage collected. And it's been working pretty well, although I am not sure how good of an idea this actually is. I'll have to find out through experience. Uh, here's the property that we used to get the std out, and here's execute which returns this, meaning that we can immediately get std out that way. So I made some syntax sugar, meaning you can just specify the commands one after another because they are automatically um, like made into what actually goes into the cmd. So let's yank this. Mm -hmm. And then cd. Essentially, these two commands, if you run them both at once, all of those commands end up looking like this. So first command, and second command, and third command, and so on. So that's how you can run multiple commands at once, and that's how you can collect all of their std out into one thing. But once again, you can also separate them, so you can only take the specific std out that you need. Uh, Alright, so that whole thing is done by get command string. Pretty reasonable code, like what you would imagine overall. And here we are using the com object to actually run those commands. And everything else is just implementation details. Run with is completely irrelevant, it's just some something that I find useful to not have to deal with annoying syntax. So I created this cmd class, already very useful, 
because you can specify the commands that I actually want. So you would think I would do something like cmd execute and then let's start git add boop and then git commit uh, message and then we cs boom boom and then mm -hmm, and then the message right yeah and this is starting to look kind of annoying because I know what actions I'm making or typing them out as strings is just kind of annoying which is why I created another layer of abstraction in my git class which is located in lib-v2 app git.ahk so it uses cmd to have multiple abstractions so the way I actually use this is by using add to git add if you specify nothing in brackets it will git add everything but you can also specify the file paths to only add those files which is very useful and I'll show you how I use that in a bit then commit where you actually write the message since my commits are automatic anyway I don't need to have a way to write that commit message because it can be auto generated and then push which I don't use yet but you could so let's actually move to Spotify sure Spotify uh, and it should be somewhere here okay here it is new discovery so imagine I listen to a new artist and I need to mark the time where I started listening to them at all like I, where I first discovered them essentially so that's exactly what I do I do my magic which I explained in my shows playlist which will be linked in the description and then I immediately commit that change so get we start in my music repository then we add this file of uh, discovery log then we commit with the message of discover the artist's name and then remember one important thing execute if you don't use the execute method then none of these actually do anything why do I do that is because I wanted to first of all collect all of the commands and then immediately execute them all at once instead of executing every single command separately there's I don't remember at the very least a good reason to do this but I did it for some reason so here you go it's very important to actually use the execute method and nice now whenever I use my uh, function that automatically marks the artist as someone that I just discovered it then does new discovery and commits it and everything is done for me and I got green boxes on github same thing goes for different functions that I have like new rapper when I listen to some music and I hear a featured artist that I haven't heard before and I like and then I'm like rap then blah 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 and that's what new rapper does and once again get we start at music we add the rappers file to the staging area then we commit with this message and execute and the same thing for my favorite rappers uh, which I end up subscribing to and the same idea goes for shows uh, which we should get to so set link yeah set episode ends up doing the same kind of thing and set downloaded does the same thing so when we go to my shows you see that nothing is new even though I just watch One Piece why because it automatically committed my change of watching the episode they are not pushed though and that is still up to me but the thing is I want I could if I wanted uh, just add push here and be done with it but I don't do it to make sure I can do this kind of thing no matter if I have internet or not I haven't tested this and maybe it throws an error if it can't push I'm not sure 
So I decided to just leave it off, but you can actually very easily use push as well. So that was quite an interesting thing to write and uh, very useful for sure. So if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!